Hello, my fellow readers. This is Leo, and today we will be reading Amelia Bedelia on the the weather. This book was recommended once again by Natalie F. Thank you, Natalie, for recommending another awesome book. This book is by Herman Parrish. Pictures by Lynn Avril. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Amelia Bedelia under the weather. Amelia Bedelia did not feel well. She snuggled down in bed with her stuffed animals. Roar! What a zoo! Said Amelia Bedelia's father. Ah, chew! Said Amelia Bedelia. Do not tease her, honey. She does not feel well. Said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Amelia Bedelia coughed. I'm sorry that you are under the weather. Said Amelia Bedelia's father. I'm not. Said Amelia Bedelia, "I am under my covers." Amelia Bedelia felt dizzy. She fell back on her pillow. "You are sick," said her mother. "I am calling the school. You are staying home today." Amelia Bedelia was happy. Then she was sad. "I will miss my friends," she said. I do not want to rain on your parade," said her mother. "But something is going around." "Not me," said Amelia Bedelia. "I'm staying here." Before he left for work, Amelia Bedelia's father carried her downstairs. He tucked her in to his special chair. "Thanks, Daddy," said Amelia Bedelia. "I will check on you." Later, he said, "You may have a fever," said Amelia Bedelia's mother. "I will find a thermometer and take your temperature." She turned on the TV. "Not the weather," said Amelia Bedelia. "The weather is boring." She did not have enough energy to change the channel. She sighed. "I'm under the weather." She said, "Now I'm in front of it too." Amelia Bedelia did not know why grown-ups worried about the weather, whether it could rain, whether it would snow, whether it would freeze or hail would blow. Amelia Bedelia never worried about it. She had fun in all kinds of weather. Amelia Bedelia's mother put on a thermometer under Amelia Bedelia's tongue. I will be right back. Amelia Bedelia watched the weather all over the world. Eat oak, eat one ox, eat oaks," said Ama- Amelia Bedelia. Her mother took out the thermometer. Out of Amelia Bedelia's mouth, what did you say? She asked. Hey, look! It's raining cats and dogs," said Amelia Bedelia. "Poor sweetie," she said. Her mother, "You have a little fever." The telephone rang. It was Amelia Bedelia's father. "Hey, sunshine," he said. How are you? I'm feeling sick," said Amelia Bedelia. "Are you feeling green around the gills?" her father asked. Just then, there was a knock at the door. "You who? How are you, neighbor?" said Mrs. Adams. "It's raining buckets out there, and cats and dogs too," said Amelia Bedelia. Ah,、oh, here you're not feeling so hot," said Mrs. Adams. "I am feeling very hot," said Amelia Bedelia. "Amelia Bedelia is running a fever," said her mother. 
I am way too sick to run, said Amelia Bedelia. Well, I have something good for what's it for what is making you sick, says Mrs. Adams. Chicken soup. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. But I need something bad for what's making me sick. Do you have a stomach bug? Asked Mrs. Adams. Yuck! Said Amelia Bedelia. I hope not. You have some kind of bug, sweetie," said Amelia Bedelia's mother. "I wish it had wings," said Amelia Bedelia. "Then I could fly above the weather instead of being under it." Amelia Bedelia's father came home. The weather was still on the TV. "You must be on top of the weather," he said. "It will be partly cloudy tomorrow," Amelia Bedelia said. "Not partly sunny." Asked her father, "Daddy, that is the same thing," said Amelia Bedelia. "You must be feeling better," said Amelia Bedelia's father. "Soon you will be right as rain," said her mother. "Come rain or shine," said Amelia Bedelia. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book that Natalie F recommended to me, Amelia Bedelia. Under the weather. Thank you, and be sure to like and subscribe. And I.